All right, Loot Crate and Nerd Block for July 2017. As I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I was just waiting for the boxes to come in. And if you guys are interested in wanting to know what's happening with Nerd Block uh, currently, I'll kind of give information at the end of the video, but just want to get to the unboxings because that's what you guys came here for. By the way, um, I had an email uh, or somebody sent me a message through YouTube uh, wanting to know if I was like leaving something on the side of my face. It's a birthmark on this side, guy, whoever it is. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but it's a birthmark, so it lightens up my uh, facial hair around my face. And uh, I only shave a couple times a week uh, due to the job that I am in. So uh, at any rate, that's, that's why that is like that. But at any rate, so let's get into the unboxing. That's what you're here for. I'm going to start off with Nerd Block. It actually just came today. And I will say that I'm actually uh, a little impressed with this box. They did mention they were going to send more into it. And for me, they didn't disappoint. So here we go. The first one, uh, I'm going to sh first item I'm going to show you is the shirt. And it says the dark side. And it's got uh, basically from Star Wars. Um, and this actually reminds me of the 1980s video game that was in the arcade. It was like a sit-down video game. And it was all lined. For those of you that are my age in their 30s and 40s, you'll... You'll understand that game. Or maybe it's just some fans that really are heavy into video gaming. You'll know about that. So anyway, that was that. Uh, the next thing here we have are clips uh, from um, Super Mario Brothers. They have an actual um, uh, magnet on the back. And there's three of them. And use them for chips or what I'm going to probably use it for on my fridge is to put notes and things of that nature for my, my daughter. Uh, so I actually kind of like this one. So there's that. Next thing we have is a Star Wars Death Star ice mold. I actually saw this on eBay for like 13 or 14 bucks. Uh, you can buy this on. So I actually like this too. Um, if you uh, drink, uh, I don't know, I, I use these types of cube uh, makers for my uh, water. I, use, I, I like drinking lemon water and iced tea. And I'll put the cubes in there, and uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, it makes for a great party uh, conversation as well. So that was awesome too. Again, just so you guys can see it. Sorry. Uh, so Death Star and uh, Ice Mold. Uh, next is um, a Kirk and Spock Star Trek box tin from Teeny Tins lunch boxes. There's nothing in it. It's just wrapped in plastic. I really have no use for this item. I am a Star Trek fan, a heavy Star Trek fan, but I don't collect lunch boxes. Uh, but I do have several students uh, that do, and I'll probably give that to them. This is a the pin that came in it. This was from actually a couple months ago, actually, and this is from Back to the Future Part Two. It's the shoes that uh, Michael J. Fox wore. This is for a, t a your tea. Um, <laughs> It's a master infuser. Uh, this is kind of weird. My mother's English. She actually probably would like this because she drinks tea all the time. Not that it really, you know, not that American folks don't drink tea, but every time, when I was a kid, every time there was a problem, my mother would make tea and just say, all right, let's sit down and talk about it. Um, and anyway, you put your tea in there. It goes into your, your cup. There's something on the back that kind of gives more of an explanation on it. I would not use it, but you never know. Uh, my mother might get a kick out of that, so that's that. And something unique, this actually I think came from their Horror Block series. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street flask. I never was a fan of the flasks because they're very difficult to... I'm not even going to... I'll open it up so you guys probably want to see it. I'm not a fan of it just because they're hard to clean. Um, but... If you see, it's got, it's just basically a, a big sticker, and it's not very, it's not a well-made sticker either. It looks like it's just on a cheap vinyl, um, and of course the flask opens. But they're hard to clean, and that's why I never really was a fan of these things. I guess you could use them. You know, fans obviously of the horror series would get a kick out of it and want it for their collection, but not me. Last, you have a RK Block exclusive. This is a Mega Man helmet speaker, and I think this came actually from their um, Gamers Block, which is kind of odd because this is a classic block, 
And I would have expected something a little, I don't know, I've got a lot of like gaming things in here. I was expecting something more movies or television. Uh, I guess you could say this was a, you know, animated series back in the day. And so it wasn't Super Mario Brothers, but I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. And it has a USB, and it plugs in. I was hoping it to be Bluetooth. Maybe I was wish, wishful thinking on that. But uh, my kid actually wants this. So uh, I think overall, uh, I'm going to use everything that came in this box. Now, on to Loot Crate. Loot Crate, uh, I wasn't too impressed with. Loot Crate, I, I'm just not happy with it. I think just because of the fact I'm not a fan really of uh, majority of the stuff that's in here. You, you guys might like it though. Uh, the first one is a Ninja Turtles t-shirt. I actually like this shirt. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch the Turtles all the time. Uh, the original motion picture movie came out, I think I was like 13, 14 years of age when it came out and that was like the coolest thing. Then the sequels sucked, but I, I did watch the cartoons as a kid. Then you have a Rick and Morty, um, Peace Among Worlds. It, basically what he's doing is he's flipping off, flipping you off is basically what it is. It's basically, you know, I, I'm not a Rick and Morty fan. I don't really get the, the joke, but um, I think someone had mentioned that I guess it was an episode where in a planetary thing, he was, it was their sign of saying hello or friendship or whatnot. I can't, I don't really know. You guys might. And then you have a Bob's the Burger exclusive. There's been a lot of these Bob's the Burger themes. I mean, we're Simpsons. You know, uh, even a uh, American Dad. I'm just not a Bob's the Burger. Uh, excuse me, Bob. Yeah, Bob's Burgers fan. Um, and this is actually, I actually researched it. It's just a box of um, recipes, uh, Bob's Burger recipes. So, and then you have the Bob's Burger pin, and then something from Futurama, which is a Slurm cozy. And that was it. That was all that was in, really? That was all that was in Loot Crate. It, it kind of blows. You get, so you got a t-shirt, you got a Rick and Morty item, a Bob's the Burger recipe kit, a Slurm Cozy, and a Bob's Burger pin. That was all that came in the new Loot Crate for the month of July. That's pretty weak. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and now for just a little bit of information as far as NerdBlock, from what I've been able to gather is that NerdBlock is in a transition. What I think personally is happening is they're being bought out and the company is redesigning everything. There's been a lot of talk that they're going under and uh, you know to cancel your subscriptions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't believe that's the case. I just think that NerdBlock is getting bought out and therefore everything is being transitioned. But don't quote me on that. That is just what I've been able to gather, but nothing, no press release has come out yet as far as what's going on with NerdBlock. I do know that right now um, they are responding, at least for me, through emails. I've sent a lot of emails, a couple emails, and they have been responding to me. I can't say that for everyone because if you look on Reddit or you look on Twitter or Facebook, uh, many people have not gotten any responses back from them. So I can only tell you what I've been told. I will I will be honest with you, I will keep, uh, probably keep ordering just the both boxes just because I enjoy doing these videos and I like kind of seeing the cool things. I do a lot of stuff for my students. Somebody had asked me what I do for a living and I actually teach self-defense. So I have a lot of, I teach a lot of children, a, a lot of young adults and if anything I do it just for them. Um, I do keep a couple of things that I find interesting, but most of the time I give it all away, um, just as a little extra incentive for them to come to class. So at any rate, hope you guys do enjoy uh, the video, and as soon as I get August's Loot Crate and Nerd Blocks in, I will definitely be doing another video. Hope you guys enjoy this. I did notice that I got two dislikes on the last video, but nobody mentioned anything as why they disliked it. I don't mind that you dislike the video. Uh, if there's something that you're not liking that I'm doing in the video, whether it's you know, just me talking like this, or if it's just how I'm presenting the material, you know, let me know. Um, this is just for the person that does not invest in these crates, especially the Nerd Block. I know there's a ton of Loot Crate unboxings out there, but not a, not a lot of Nerd Block. And I just try to present it to you guys to save you the cost and see if there's something you do want to invest in getting on eBay. 
of what is uh, currently being uh, given out there. So at any rate, hope you have a good, uh, good month, and I will talk to you next time, guys. Thanks a lot.